Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where your settings menu is not opening in Windows 11. So in order to fix this, you first need to head over to the start menu and search for CMD and then right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. Now, if you can't bring up this menu, then you can just press the Windows plus the R key on your keyboard. And from this window, type in CMD and then you can just press control shift and enter on your keyboard. And that's going to bring up this window here. Now we're just going to type in SFC space slash scan now and hit enter and then you'll just need to wait a few minutes while this performs a full system scan now this will check for any damaged or missing files on your windows system and once this gets to 100 percent you can then close out of this window now if that's still not working the next solution is to head over to your start menu search for task manager and then click on the task manager window you can also press Control alt delete on your keyboard to bring up this menu then in the list of processes you just need to find windows explorer and once you've found this process we can simply right click on it and select restart once you've done that we're then going to head back over to the start menu search for powershell and then right click on windows powershell and run this one as administrator you can also get to this window by right clicking on the windows icon and selecting terminal admin now from here we're just going to type in the following command now i've already got this saved in my notepad and i'll leave this in the video description so you guys can come and copy and paste this so we're just going to copy this simply and paste it into this window and hit enter and then just wait a few seconds and then we're going to come and copy this second command and also paste this inside of the window and once again I'll leave this in the video description and then just hit enter. Once you've entered both of these commands you can then close down this window you'll then need to restart your computer and once your computer's restarted that should have then fixed any issues with your start bar not opening. If you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.